Okay, it's uh, it's been prior coming at you with my first video. So the first video is going to be about, I mean, first video you got to start it off right. You got to know what I have. So we're going over my tackle box and my fishing rods. Um, probably start off with fishing rods. It'd be a little bit easier than the tackle box. It'd take a little bit of less time. Get that damn thing out of the way. Um, start things off. This is my first bait caster. And it's the Black Max. It's like 60 bucks at Walmart. And used it for about two years. Changed the grips out for some different ones. And um, throwing a Berkeley Squirrel Bow on there. Dirty water color. Call it color. Why did I say dirty water? Good for dirty water. But been a good little rod so far. Up next is this Quantum. Uh, tournament grade and IM8 with a Fluger president on there. I got this for working for a dude. I split some wood for him and he gave me the reel on at 5.6 and I threw it on this rod. I got a red eyed shed, like green tiger or something on there. It's a 6.6 six medium heavy. This one's a 6.6 six medium heavy too, or 6.6 six medium. Um, next up is. My loose cranking rod, I have a Texas rig on it right now for, because it was the only rod I had with me. Um, it is a 7 foot medium heavy with a moderate action. It's a really fast action to be honest, but it casts a mile and retrieves really fast, so, I mean it should, it's a uh, 5.41, which isn't that fast, but it gets it pretty fast. I got that one at a boat sport and travel show in uh, Indianapolis, uh, either last year or the year before. Another combo from Walmart is the Lose Xfinity uh, Speed Spool. It's, I'm pretty sure this one's a 6.6 six something, something. 6.6 six medium action. Um, I have a spinner rate on it because I didn't really want to untie anything else with the raw gloves on. Rock gloves are the ones I usually take with me. The rods with the rock gloves on them are the ones I usually take with me everywhere. Um, on this one is the Berkeley F Fusion Rod. I have a Z-Man Chatterbait with a Strike Keen Rage Tail. Uh, Rage Swimmer on the back. Uh, this is my dial with Laguna. It's like one of my favorite reels. Um, I forget what the gear ratio is on it, but I've had this one for, it's going to be two years coming up in May. I got this one when Gander Mountain was still open. I love it to death. I had to get a new rod because the dial wood rod I had was broke. And this one is a 7 foot medium. Fast action. For the next one, I just had to get it to match the spinning rod. I think it was like $90 or more. It's the uh, Lose Xfinity uh, Speed Spool and the Baitcaster version, practically. Um, it is. I got a frog tied on just because. I mean, it's starting to get warm. I'm pretty sure it's a six a six ten, uh, medium heavy. I got thirty pound spider wire on that. Most of these are some cage in line to get for like. I got it really cheap. It's like four bucks and fifty cents for like seventeen hundred yards of it. Um, this is my Quantum KVD smoke, reel. I have this on a really light rod. It's a six six. Uh, 6.6 six medium heavy. It's not, it don't handle like a medium heavy. It handles like a light action rod. But the real cast a mile. It's got eight ball bearings in it. And I really like it. Got this one at Bass Pro Shops in Tennessee. Um, I use this one today with the underspin on it. And throw that lighter stuff. Don't have to throw it on that spinning rod, which I really like about that rod. Um, the next rod is one of my newest rods I bought is the. 13 fishing, uh, I what this is called, Fate Black fishing side of it with a origin reel on it. It's just a really clean looking, looking setup. I've always wanted the rod and I've just saved up enough money to get it. It's a medium heavy fast action rod, 7 foot. So that is all for my rods. Um, I've got more, it's just I'm showing you the better ones. Um, so, going through my tackle box, there is a couple of different compartments. This is a soft, well, this is some pliers. Just threw them. 
So I'm like, I forget what these are called, but I use this for fly fishing. And then I got a cheap pair of pliers in there. On this side, I think I got some. I already used uh, Sweet Beaver by Action Innovations. Uh, flipping. And I think I got a couple pairs of clippers in here and a pair of braid scissors. Yeah. That's exactly what I got. These things are like some of the best clippers. They're made by Rapala. I just had to get two of them when they came on sale. They were in like a dollar fifty. But braid scissors mm, suck. But that's all that's in the front two pockets of my tackle bag. Now the rest is practically just soft plastics and hard baits and all that good stuff. So we're gonna have fun. Put all this stuff back real quick. So in this pocket right here, um, it is all soft plastics. Um, it arranges on these front pockets. There's a whole bunch of different, but it's mostly zoom. You got some net bait, uh, pack a punch. I like them. I don't like the other net bait crawls because uh, they're hollow. Can't stand them. Got some React Innovation. Uh, Skinny dippers in Houdini color. Got some reaction evasion sweet beavers in what is it? Hematoma color. Got some Lake Fork uh, rain fries, which are really good for bed fishing, and I can't wait to try them out this year. So that's up, and it is smell amazing, just like garlic. I got these out of a uh, what's it called? MTB, uh, month of December mystery plastic box or something like that. And it's a Lunker City swim bait, practically. I don't really like it because it's just cut off. I wish it was more of like a round. Um, got some zoom speed crawls in black and red. Got some zoom speed worm, well, not speed worms, trick worms in uh, green pumpkin chartreuse tail. Got some zoom swim baits, some smaller ones. I think these are the swim and flukes, but yeah. And Super Disco, I'll use this for back of chatter baits. Got some Zoom Fat Alberts and Chartreuse Pepper. And then I got some of those in, what is this called? Watermelon Green Orange. Like a watermelon natural color. Got some trailers. I got a couple packs of these actually. Got three packs of trailers. I got two packs in brownish, bluish, and then a pack of black and blue chunks. And then these are some baby brush hogs. I don't know if I gave you a good look at those or not, but just those zoom chunks, trailers for jigs and stuff. I usually use them as jig trailers. But. And then these are the zoom baby brush hogs in zoom bug color. Mm -hmm. um, so that's all that's in this pocket. So we're gonna go over this pocket now, which is more soft plastics, believe it or not. Alright, so first off we got the Catch Coast All Cross, which I really like these, I haven't used them, I've used one and caught one fish on it to be honest, and um, I got this in the December mystery bundle box for soft plastics or something, when you get that, it's like 15 bucks, you get five free bait, five baits, and it paid off to be honest, got some Zoom White Flukes, well not Zoom, Yum White Flukes, got some Net Bait, Pack of chunks. Again, jig trailers. Got some Gary Yamanoto uh, three inch. What's he called? Senkos in baby bass color. So it's like a green with a little bit of freckle in there. Um, here's some more brush hogs. They're called Pocket Series brush hogs. They call them the Pocket Hall Razor. Razor. And South Afri Africa Special and Watermelon. So black and red and green and black shit. Green pumpkin. Uh, got some robo worms. Drop shot baits. I only have a few drop shot baits, but when I drop shot fish, I drop shot fish. I really like these, especially when it's tough fishing. You throw these on like a shaky head or a wobble head or something. The flippers, well not flippers, the claws float and it puts off some stuff. And some Cabela's grubs. For trailers, if you haven't used grubs for the back of a chatterbait trailer, you're missing out. Some zoom lizards and some big bite baits. Uh, 
pretty sure these are like some frog cake. Yeah, real hot fighting frog, four inch, and then in a black and blue sapphire. So that is all for the first two. Well, all of this practically is gone. Um, so we're gonna hop into the main compartment, which it breaks up into three different things. Oh, I forgot I had water bottles in there. Let me throw those over there. Um, so we'll set this up like this. All right. So we got. If you guys can see that. We got soft plastics up here, and it's Biospawn, Strike King, and Guggen Baits. And then the way my tackle box sorted is during the, during the winter, I'll have my deep diving crankbaits, medium jerk baits, square bells, lipless, jigs, spinner baits, chatter baits, all that good stuff. And this bottom one's my terminal tackle. And then here, there's a zipper right here, and my top holder's in there. Which my top water was trash last year, and then I decided to pick some more up. So, always good, right? So, we're going to start it off, keep the trend of the soft plastics, might as well, right? Um, so, first off, we'll start off with the biospawn stuff. And first, I'll probably get most of them out of there. So, that's all of it. So, first off, in biospawn, we got some. Plasma tails. We got the six inch and the eight inch ones. Um, six inch and eight inch. These are the six inch. These are the four inch. Sorry. Um, these are in watermelon red flake with a like pinkish tail. Same color with these ones. You can see the bottom one right there. If you look, the tail. I mean, they're good for drop shot baits. Like I said, I only have a few. Um, and this is a purple fire color. I haven't had the chance to use these. I just restocked. Um, got some extra sticks in the gym mug color. Five inch extra sticks, gym mug color. Not too, nothing special. Um, got some extra swim, four inch swim baits. Uh, I've used two of these. I really like them. Good for trailers and two Texas rig on a smaller like hook. Um, got some Vio Claws and Okeechobee Crawl color. It's practically green and black, and then blue June bug on the green and black on the front, June bug on the back. Um, got some vile bugs and just a straight up June bug color, just purple ish blue, purple blue flake practically. That is all for the biospun part of the top. We'll go ahead and grab the rage out of here, strike king layers. Strike King, Gugan Bates, and Biospawn are probably some of my favorites. I'm just going to head to close that. Focus on this right here. Get you out of here. So, here are some three and three quarter inch red swimmers. I have used one, and that was to put it on the back of the Chatterbait. I mean, they got good action. Just, I like the four, four or five inch better. I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, these and the Dragon Drops are my last drop shot baits. KVD Dream Shot and Bull Bluegill. It's practically brown on top, green on the bottom color. <laughs> Going on with the KVD and the Structure Bugs, we got a KVD Perfect Plastic Swimming Shad in green pumpkin color. Good clear water swimming bait. Works really well. I wish I would have got the 4 inch other than the well, the four, five inch other than the four inch. I used to slam them on the four inch. Um, we'll go into structure bugs. I got two different packs. I got some in, uh, this is an Alabama Craw, and this is Watermelon Red Flake. Both really good clear water and dirty water. This one is probably my favorite color. It's the Alabama Craw. And it, everywhere I go, I can never find anymore. I mean, I've been like two places that have it. And then Rage Tails, or not Rage Tail, uh, Rage Falls are very important in my tackle box. I got three packs of the Watermelon Red Flakes that I never use. I mean, I use them all the time. Three packs will be going in probably a couple weeks. And then I got some Lizards by Strike King. It's not Rage, but they're Lizards. So I'll keep them in that order. 
Um, so going with, we'll go with Guggen Bates. This would be the last soft plastic I have in my tackle box. And I have more soft plastics. I just don't know what to do with. And do like a giveaway at 100 subscribers or something maybe. So Bandito Bug. Got some in Summer Crawl. June Bug. And Green Pumpkin. Essentials right there. Take these anywhere and catch fish. Like I said on the back, just add water. These are some of my favorite creature baits to Texas rig, jig trailer, flip, pitch, whatever. Um, we got the Dragon Drop, also a um, drop shot bait. This is the last drop shot bait I have. I haven't used these at all. I just got these, like, I think it was three weeks ago, and it's April now, so, I mean, I'll probably use them during the summer, but not much now. I mean, bed fishing, frog fishing. I can't wait until frog season. Got one pack of the Kraken Crawls. Um, I'm too big of a fan of the Rage Crawls to do anything with the Kraken Crawls, practically. But if you ask me, the Bandito Bug reminds me a lot of the Structure Bug. It just has a little bit extra flap. Uh, these are in a watermelon red flake color, too. I am a big fan of the Trench Hogs, though. These are in green pumpkin color. I really, really like these. Texas rigging them. Um, sometimes I'll cut them in half and use them as jig trailers to give it a little bit more flash. But good bait all in all. It's something unique. Um, some shake worm. I've used one of these as a Texas rig. Like I said, I'll use them as Texas rig or wacky rig them or uh, something like that along the lines. Just, I don't. I think they're a little too long to drop shot. So I'll probably just use them as a... Uh, Texas rig. They're six and a half inches, so that's not too bad. I wonder if they tell you the length on that. These are six inches. These are four inches. Four inches. I wonder if the crawls are four inches too. Yeah, all the Guggen baits except for the bigger ones are four inches. So that concludes all of my soft plastics. I carry it with me everywhere. This is like my tackle box I take with me to the lake. If I'm going to the lake, river, pond, I mean, I could be going anywhere in this. I'd grab this and a couple rods and go. So, um, we'll start off with deep diving crankbaits, since there's not that many. Um, I keep them in a plano. I'm pretty sure this is a 3600 box. Either 3600 or 3500. I don't know. But, I mean, I mostly use these for really, really deep diving, deep diving fishing. Uh, I don't know really what colors they are, but I don't even know what brand they are. I got them from my grandpa for my birthday. So, uh, just some cool colors. I caught fish on this one in deep water. I mean, I've caught bass on it. Um, I think I've caught fish on, where's that? In this one. Like a sunburnt color. I mean, I think it's just because of the loud rattles. I really like both those birds. Some are the only ones I've thrown out of the eight of them I have. But that's a good look inside my deep diving crank box. This would get switched out with like a panfish or the uh, top water box and I'll just get rid of this box completely during the summer. Yeah, I'd rather fish top water and I'll show you all the other crank baits I have. These are like 5XD crank baits. So I probably won't use them that much during the summer. When it gets to that time I just jerked you guys a little bit. So next box is jerk baits and crankbaits. I don't jerk bait fish that much, so I won't be showing you that many. Um, this is the 5XD, what's it called? Shy King 5XD, this is the only 5XD I have. I can't wait to use it to be honest because I've never used these type of crankbaits. I've always used the one my grandpa's have, grandpa had, uh, so use those. A wiggle wart, um, some perch type. I got this in an MTB a while ago, or it might have been an LTB for my friend or something. We always trade. Um, this is a Bagley one. I really like. I like the color on it. It sort of reminds me of that one, but without the black dot. And then I got about 30 of these crawl dead ones. These are all by, uh, I forget who these are by. Damn, I can't remember. But these are all by the same company. I got like 15 or 16 of them. Just laying in here. But these are going... I'm going to be getting more of the 5XDs here soon. 
in the KVD 4, 4 XDs or whatever they're called. But I'm planning on making a massive order either Carl's Bait and Tackle, Bass Pro Shops, Tackle Warehouse, somewhere. I'm getting a new rod and reel in it. I want to get a whole bunch of fishing gear, a whole bunch more soft plastics. Um, once I do that, I might be giving away some of my other soft plastics for jerk baits. We got a few, not a lot though. I found this one on the bank, and it is a RC Sticks. I've never really looked into it, but it looks really good. Um, old school Rapallo jerk baits. These two right here. These two. I like the dollar ninety six cotton cordell ones you get at Walmart. And that's how lame I am. Um, if I can get all these done, I'll show you some of them. I don't think it happened. Uh, Rapala Husky Jerk. This is a KBD one point or two point uh, jerk bait. I forget what color. This is a ow shit. That hurt. This is a jerk Berkeley. The new ones that just came out with the new jerk baits that just came out with. Well, not just came out with, but had out for like from 2018. Um, this is a Best Pro Shop jerk bait that I bought like two dollars for cheap and then another Rapala jerk bait I don't know what type I know it's Rapala though I bought it a while ago I just took myself um for square bills and lipless cranks I don't have I have like some lipless cranks like I said most of them came from my grandpa but I got two Livingston ones that's a Livingston one. I use that for muddy water. That's a Livingston one. I use this for clear water. I'm pretty sure this is a Bagley. Like some really weird one I bought when I was like six or seven. Um, this is a KVT 2.5 I just bought. Um, this is a KVD 2.5 I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And Sexy Shad. That's like a perch color. I'm really getting into the six cents stuff. I really like their baits. I really like their uh, like design. They put so much detail and work into their baits. That's one of them. I mean, it just looks so sick. I mean, if you follow them guys on Instagram, I mean, you, you'll see. Um, for red eye shads, I have a sexy shag color, a peanut butter and jelly color one. I have that tiger color one I have tied on, and then a red called it color one practically. That's what it is. Um, I got some in three fourth ounce, and then I'm pretty sure these are two ounces. For rattle traps, I got a couple different colors. There's like a bleeding shag color. There's another bleeding shag colored one. Um, got some more chrome ones, more like bait fish color. My favorite one all is that one right there. It's black dot, little blue. It's practically a sexy shag color, but just a little faded since it's older. I've got a lot of fish on them and the KVD 2.5s. See if I can't get this DM thing closed again. It ain't gonna happen, folks. It is not going to happen. If you guys got video suggestions for me to do, other than sitting here and showing you all my fishing tackle, um, please make sure to comment. I'm always open to stuff, I guess. I'm pretty crazy, so I'll do whatever. Um, this is my jig box. This is the last one from the other box. So this is the chatterbait. This is like my second chatterbait. I only have two chatterbaits. Um, black and blue and a bluegill colored one. But this is the Cabela's grub on the bottom of it. And I mean, it catches fish and it distributes, pushes water out of the way, twirls, whatever. I mean, I make my own jigs and chatterbaits and stuff. Well, not chatterbaits. I don't make chatterbaits, but spinnerbaits. I got a couple Colorado blade ones in there. I got a couple willow leaf ones in there. Um, these are double Colorado single. Just some of the ones I use on a regular basis. This one's probably going to be my favorite though. The one with the willow leaf, the single willow leaf. I caught a couple monsters on that. I think like I caught a six. And I didn't read the other one I caught, but it was like a four and a half. Um, Jigs, flipping jigs, some different ones in here, brown and black, purple. I really like purple for some reason. Purple works really well. I mean, 
Clear water, probably not, but dirty water kind of works really well. Black and blue and straight black. I made all of them and make all my spinner baits and all that other stuff. So we'll go and hop into the terminal tackle, which I'll pick you guys up for. So in the terminal tackle box, we have catfish hooks, straight shank worm hooks, some assortment of drop shop, uh, shaky head, and two hooks in there, some sort of catfish hooks. They're for like dip baits. Tried them once and didn't really like it. Some got some glass beads, some pegs, some more shaky head hooks. These are called bait keeper hooks. You stick that right there into your bait and hook them like a Texas rig. Got some swim bait hooks, some swim bait hooks with like five aught. These are seven aught swim bait hooks with like two ounce sinkers on there. I sort of went a little bit overboard. Um, these are all not I'm got to uh, turn you guys this way. These are all laser sharp five four aught. Extra wide depth hooks. These are my favorite hooks in the world to use. Flipping hooks, drop shot sinkers. It goes from like a sixth of an ounce or an eighth to, I believe this is a, either a fourth or three eighths. Egg sinkers for catfishing, drop shots, not drop shots, uh, split shots. Uh, an assortment of bullet weights and then. I bought these for like 96 cents, and they're gigantic. I mean, they're pretty big. That's just an empty slot for more sinkers. But we'll go ahead and put you guys back down. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Put you guys back up. That was it for my terminal tackle box. As you guys can tell, terminal tackle. I probably couldn't read it, but it's okay. So we'll get into... My top order box, which it's nothing special, it's a top order box. I know some people have like six of thousands of dollars invested into their top order box. There might be a hundred bucks in here. Maybe two hundred. Now that I look at it. So we got the Lunker Hunt Turtle. I'm really looking forward to using this. And I'll show you the other thing I'm looking forward to, I'll tell you. Got a couple of Tekle or Tekler or Tekle and Toad Runners by Booya. Um, this is the tackler. This is the toad runner. It's like a practically a frog whopper plopper, and I'm excited to use it because I've used the whopper ploppers before. I seen the t video of the tackler getting blown up on, and I'm like, I gotta get some of those. For actual frogs, we got a couple different types here. I got a spur one on my orange rod, but I got three different gooey ones. I got a black one, a white one, and a brown one. This is a poppin version. Pack crashers. Um, I got a smaller one. I throw this on lighter for smaller bass or something. To lunker hunt. I don't know what type of frog, but something. This is the KVD sexy frog. Um, this is the lunker hunt combat frog, which I really like. It just smells horrible. Not horrible. It smells like paint. I feel like fish won't blow up on it because it smells like paint. I can't handle the smell of it. See, so yeah, I still got to trim them. I don't. I don't, I'm, I'm not too big on trimming the things on just because. Um, for soft body frogs, some are hollow body frogs. I got two different types. I've got a green and black back with a white bottom and just a whole white one. And instead of buying the frog hooks that cost about seven dollars for two of them, I just use regular Texas rig hooks. I got just about the same hookup ratio. Just have to let them take it for a little bit longer. And for poppers, I only have like two to showcase to you because I don't really use them that much. I mean, this is a KVD one I really like and a Bass Pro Shops one I really like. Both really good poppers and hula poppers. Hula poppers are like some of my other favorite fishing. For waffle poppers, we got two different kinds. We got Berkeley and obviously the River to Sea. This one is the... Seventy-five. I thought it was the one ten. So you got the one twenty-fives and the one thirties. I think might be wrong. Probably am. But River to Sea Whopper Plopper in a bluegill color, and then got a black chopper 
by Berkeley. That's what they call them, but they're waffle choppers. Just a different logo and a different name. And then they got this chrome one to act like a bait fish or like a uh, gizzard chat or something. And then in here is sort of the craziness, other than the turtle. Um, we've got a savage gear snake in here. I'm excited to use this somewhere. I thought I was going to get blown up quite a lot. And then we got two Lunker Hunt Dragonflies. It's practically a Texas rigged piece of plastic with the skirt on it coming out the sides. I don't know how I feel about this bait. I'm going to use it this year and see what happens. I mean, you guys are going to see with me because I'm going to take you guys along. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it in the long run, hopefully. Hopefully you all like my videos and just keep on liking them. Um, so that practically all my fishing tackle. I mean, it's not all my fishing tackle, but it's what I carry around with me on a daily basis if I'm going fishing. Like, let's say tomorrow I'm going fishing. I have no idea what I bring, what to bring. I'll just bring that whole box. I'll leave it in my car. I turn 16 in 20 days or something. I'll be getting my permit. And I'll be able to drive everywhere. So there's going to be a lot more videos then. Um, I work at McDonald's. So, I mean, a whole bunch of unboxings of fishing stuff. That's what this video is going to be about. Unboxing, fishing, hunting. Turkey season's coming around this corner. I do a little bit of mushroom hunting. Um, just get you all into the gist and start going. So if you all like that or want to see more, please like and subscribe. And uh, turn post notifications on, of course, so you know when I upload there'll be one either every two weeks well not every two weeks like two every week or something so i get two days off i'm gonna try to get two days off in a row but we'll find out so peace out and y'all have a wonderful day